teleport? Hello, here. I am no gay dog. So if you see me, uh, you know, in BDO, uh, here, mostly in RBF, if you see me, uh, say hello. Um, I'm here to bring a, a part two to the skating tutorial that I posted like a couple weeks ago. I pre uploaded that video and then I did a voiceover, so I, I was pretty much in a rush at that current time. So uh, I'm gonna do a part two uh, on how to do it. And hopefully I can actually properly explain it. I, I'll explain it properly this time. Because um, as you can see, I'm live, so I can actually go as long as I want. Uh, explain it to you so first things first we will go to our skills and we will tell you I will tell you not we uh, I will tell you that well, we all have to lock at least one skill that, that, that's all you need to do is lock radiant uh, explosion uh, main reason why you want to do this is because well this skill is going to get in the way while you're trying to, I guess, run away. If you're trying to run away, especially, uh, there being a skill that's going to put you in midair and basically stop you is going to, you know, do that and get you killed, uh, which is a no no. <laughs> okay? It's a no no. Uh, you want to keep moving. You don't want to stop in the middle of the air. Like, even though it's a protected skill to SA. Uh, can still get damaged okay still get damaged while in this go so yeah it's it's not something you want to happen now for the people who use a uh, uproot into your radiant explosion I'm sorry to say you're gonna have to lock the skill if you do that combo and if you are gonna be skating you can't be doing that combo because well, I see this is what it looks like when you're using it based off of the inputs, and this is what happens when you use it off of the, you know, ring menu. It's gonna do that. Um, don't know why it's like that. I feel like PA should fix that, but it's whatever. Um, it should be changed. It, you should be able to use it the same way as if you were using it as if it was his normal skill but you know it is what it is so that's one skill you have to lock and you know that's pretty much it like you don't have to really lock anything else yeah i do have other skills locked uh but you know nothing too serious like you know it, it's basically it's basically skills i don't use so uh in my last video there was a comment saying i i can't do slide shot if I remember, and I, I sent a reply, but I'm not sure if he replied. I'm going to, you know, explain it a bit better since I'm able to actually talk to you guys this time around. Um, best way I can explain this is okay. If you're on PlayStation, you you're gonna be holding, you know, R2, right? So you're gonna I mean R2, uh, L2. So you're gonna be holding L2 and going forward. Now, for PlayStation and you know for PlayStation you're gonna be pressing R1 okay for console I mean for Xbox you're gonna be pressing you know RB of course so you know this is what you're gonna be doing and you're gonna you're gonna practice this multiple times until you get the hang of it you know you can spam it too so you don't have to like do it you know one at a time if you're very precise with it you know you can do that if you want to and if you just don't got time for all that you can just you know keep pressing it and you know it'll still work it doesn't change just because you're pressing it differently so it's up to you um you that's two decisions on uh, of your own that you gotta make and then of course right after we do that uh we will go you know this is how it goes uh slide shot and uh, glide slide shot as you first uh witness to it 
Uh, second part of this is uh, the slate slash out. Why this guy following me? Is he following me? <laughs> no, slide, slide shot, and the slate slide shot. Huh? What, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm doing something. Sorry, I'm doing something right now. I'm doing something. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, I'm doing. Okay, so you do slide, slide, slide shot into the slide, slide shot. And. Oh, that's very simple. Oh, that right there is very simple. And usually I go into Mountain Breeze right after that. You don't have to do that. Um, that's a choice up to you, of course, yet again. You don't have to do that. Okay, yeah, he didn't respond. Okay. I feel like I've seen him before. Okay. Um, and right after all this, okay, right after all that, uh, you have a. You have an, another method, uh, well, not another method, uh, a thing that you have to do right after you do slide shot, okay? Uh, right after you do slide shot, you go into, okay, if you do it correctly. You know, sometimes that would happen when you make a mistake. Uh, I usually do it where I'm already going, or I have the idea that I'm going left or right, whichever direction you are going in. You will press. LT, no, you're not pressing. You're holding LT and RT, or if you're on PlayStation, L2 and R2. You'll be holding that, and you're going to be doing Ragon Spirit from Awakening, of course, because uh, it will tell you this uh, that, oh, if you hold RT and then go left or right, it's going to do, it's going to, if you're in Awakening, it's going to do Tactical Strike. Now, uh, what I did before I learned how to do Ragon Spirit properly is that you can at the current time I had this skill locked and particularly I had Tactical Strike locked um, at that current time I didn't care about the knockdown or the protected iframe I was like um yeah it's not worth it okay, I kept dying Okay, I kept dying when I was using the skill even when I used the iframe, like they would catch me before I even went into the iframe, so it was pretty bad at that time. So I just kind of gave up on the skill. So um, you can just you know use it this way if you prefer it this way, and you don't mind losing the knockdown and the iframe on you know tactical strike. But you know the proper way is you know to do you know LT and then RT. You if you practice enough, you won't have to hold LT or, or you know, LT or RT or L2 and R2 long enough. You can just instantly like press it and then you know press it and then bam, you know go left and or right, whichever direction you're trying to go in. Uh, I can demonstrate. A, I'll show you both ways that you can do. You know skating or giho step. Uh, this is a. Uh, let me do Gio's first. Okay, like he does this uh, right after. If you watch his videos, he does that. He's in. He's in a pre awakening using a winged strike and in Ica's. You know, in his tutorial, he is doing a winged strike from awakening, of course. So his goes like this. Um, And then he continues back into rotating everything else again. You know that that's how you would do Ico's video. And if you're wondering whose video that is, if you are on PC, uh, he did the original tutorial for skating uh, when he, you know, first saw uh, freaking what is this uh, uh, Giho's video. 
So you have two choices. You can do Giho's or Aika's video, uh, Aika skating, or, or whatever you want to call his, you know, his version of skating. You know, both work. They're both the same, and you know, that's all that matters. They're both they both work. So the choice is up to you uh, on which one you want to do. And you know, that's it. You know, I could, I guess, I can explain a little bit more on. Like how would you use this and like what type of setting like you can use this uh, to escape or to outmaneuver certain classes that can't already keep up with you because well you, you kind of move a lot already so to learn this conserve your stamina as you can see like you really don't lose that much stamina as you're moving so you, you're pretty much outlasting most of the people in the game, especially like classes that are just like high bursts on their movement. Like they are able to move a long distance, but they consume more stamina as they continue to move the distance they're moving at. So, you know, for example, Musa, like he's pretty fast and he can travel, like, you know, pretty much all this. Like if you outmaneuver him, correctly you can make it to where he he has to stop at certain points or he's just gonna be you know he's gonna be you know he's gonna be doing this he's gonna be doing this and he's gonna be mad okay now, same thing with storks they, they will be moving so so much without realizing that oh I'm out of stamina oh I should stop and these are moments where you can get your shots in and you're using your class to its fullest potential. You are now kiting correctly. You are kiting, you're wearing down your opponent to where now you can use, you know, you can use your piercing light or you can use your uh, righteous might, you know, you can use your skills that actually do big damage uh, in situations like this where now you have distance. You now, now you can actually use your hardest hitting skills um and that's pretty much it i probably do more videos like this uh where i'm explaining things or i'm talking about things uh, probably use this setup again uh, i probably talk about uh the changes um in like two three days two or three days um uh, rework for archer so uh, look forward to that uh if you plan on sticking around I'll talk about my opinion on if the changes are good or not hopefully they're good you know I'm, I'm actually hoping for good changes uh, for <laughs> Archer and I think Sorks come out the same day too so like it'll be interesting I'll probably uh, see if like I, I, mean, I won't be able to do global labs but I'll see if you know if there's one like streaming and can he like do slide shot or any of the things to see if like they changed anything hopefully they didn't change anything too drastic to where we can't skate anymore because that's what I'm more worried about like I, I still want to be able to skate okay because that's what makes Archer very unique his movement is so unique compared to everyone else like okay of course everyone right after Archer they have his movement or well, they had his movement but like no one else can do what Archer can do no one can do this like no other class can do what Archer can do with his movement so I just let's just hope they don't change anything along you know skating hopefully because that that would be a uh, big side and that's pretty much it um, you know thank you for checking out my video I appreciate it uh, leave a thumbs up and thank you for checking out my video Peace.